Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content we put out. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every every uh, 24 to 48 hours. So make sure you subscribe, stay up to date, and don't stay stuck with your training business. So today I want to talk about how to implement teams into your business. Now, a question I get on a regular basis, especially from mainly soccer coaches or soccer trainers, they ask me, how do I create teams within my business? Right now, this is something personally I've done with my my business. It took me a while to do, but what I want to do is I want to show you uh, what you need in order to, to do that if this is something, if this is a type of service that you want to offer uh, to your clients. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you, right? Now, the moment you implement teams and you start to get them playing in competitive uh, games and matches, right? A lot of things start to change, okay? So the feeling of uh, just being a coaching and training business starts to change and it starts to change into such like a, a club environment. Now, something I always tell coaches when they want to implement teams is that you have to sell it to parents as it's a development uh, part of, of the the program okay because when when players when parents start to, to play in matches okay it, it does become very competitive and for the most part what parents start to do is they start to lose the main focus of what your program is okay because everything becomes focused on winning matches everything becomes focused on my son getting more playing time and ultimately, you go from having a, a training academy to having a club. Now, there's two completely different things about a club and a training program, right? Now, what we do at our company, we do help coaches implement teams, but we try and help them implement them in a way where it's not becoming a club, it's still becoming development, right? You're still developing players, and the main focus isn't on winning uh, matches. It's not winning trophies, right? It's not getting the most playing time, right? The development is, and the focus is on that individual player developing so they can play at, at a higher level, hopefully, okay? So what I did, and this is something I recommend all coaches, right? So if you are watching this video and you're thinking to yourself, do you know what? I want to implement teams right i i feel that i've i'm at a stage now where where i can do it okay i want to transition from you know group training to trying to, to put a group together okay the number one thing you need right and this this works if you are in soccer if you are in basketball right if you are in baseball whichever sport you're in that is a a team sport right this is um, th this works okay so the first thing you need to do is you need to focus on the main thing right so when I started my uh, training business my focus was on getting players from different clubs together and providing them with exceptional training and training that they weren't getting with their, their club teams okay so once I did that and I managed to market, promote myself, get myself out there, build my brand, and I got everyone from, well, I got many players from different clubs together. They started to really trust me. They started to love what, what we were doing. They started to come to the sessions with excitement. And also once my numbers started to grow, then once we we then we started to get a lot of demand so parents started to reach out to us to ask us right are you guys going to be introducing teams anytime soon so at the beginning phase right i was completely focused on providing a an exceptional 
a training service for the clients I was working with. And that was my main focus. I wasn't thinking about building a club. I wasn't thinking about building teams, playing matches on the weekend, right? The main focus of the program was development and trying to recruit as many players from different clubs around my local area as possible, bringing them together and exposing them to a different type of training that they weren't getting with their teams. Okay. Now, with time, our program started to grow. The academy started to grow to the point where, on a regular basis, uh, we were getting parents who were inquiring about teams. Now, what I did is I created a survey and I sent that survey out individually to all the parents in our program. And within the survey was a couple of questions about would you, well, one of the main questions was, would you be interested if we were to, to create teams and play in a, in a development league? Right now, once I received the response from those parents, okay, I had a high volume of, of parents that wanted to, their, their child to play in matches. Okay, so what I did then, okay, I've got the information now. I know parents want it. Uh, my numbers make sense because I have enough numbers to be able to to put a team together to play. Right. So next thing I needed to do is I needed to find an organization that would allow me to play uh, in matches. Right. So essentially I had to find a league. Okay. Now, I was quite lucky because I found a private league within my area that you don't, you didn't have to be affiliated with your local um, soccer association. Right. So simply, you, all the players had to provide um, birth certificates to make sure that they're the appropriate age. And then we paid a fee per season to play in the league. And that was it. So essentially what I did is after I got the survey in from all the parents in our program, okay, I called them up individually. I told them the plan. This was the plan moving forward. This is what I wanted to do. Would you guys be interested? Okay. And upon the response, it was really positive. So I managed to get a good number of, of parents to commit to that. So once I had the commitment, once I had the, the positive feedback, the second thing was I found the league, contacted the coordinator, asked him about what were the fees were, what were the requirements to play in the league. Okay? And as soon as that was, that was all done, we waited until this, the, the new season started and we entered the team in uh, the, the local league. Right Now, Something I get asked a lot is how do I price this? Okay, so how do I charge parents for training? How do I charge parents for the league? Now, essentially what I did at the beginning is I had two payments. So one payment was for training only, which was a monthly subscription. And that was training once a week as a team, as a group. And then the second payment was a an administrative payment which went straight to the league so i added a percentage on for my time to the total cost of that league so for example if the league cost a hundred dollars right i added fifty dollars to that total for my time during the season and then what we did is um my business paid the league directly right and then i followed up with parents individually for payments okay now the way i do it now because that that was at the beginning the way i do it now is is completely different what i do now is i include everything in the monthly subscription okay so when a player when a new player joins i essentially charge them okay a certain amount per month that covers a uh, training and the league fees. So essentially what parents are doing instead of paying the the bulk 
of the league fee up front, which might be very expensive for some parents, okay, they're paying it over the course of the season. Okay, so I'll have the, the, the training fee, which is the subscription. Say, for example, the, the training is $100, okay, and to play in the league, it will, it's, I don't know, it's $300 for the season, $400, $500, depending how much it is. What I do is I add the difference to the monthly subscription. And I say that to parents. That, right, your monthly subscription is $100. We'll cover our training session per month. Right, these are just numbers I'm throwing out at you. These aren't exactly the ones I charge, but I'm just giving you a rough estimate and an idea. Okay. So it'll be $100, and then plus you're going to be billed on top of that $50 extra per month, which will be to cover uh, your child's league fees during the season. Okay, so essentially what parents do is they get billed $150 uh, per month that goes straight into, into the business account, and that covers both uh, league expenses and your, your training fees. Okay, so there's two ways you can do this. You can charge, you can put everything together in one monthly subscription. So you can have the, the training fees plus the league fees together. Or you can have parents pay separately uh, league fees and training fees. Okay, as I said, I did uh, the second one at the beginning. I charged them separate. But then what I did, I transitioned it to all becoming um, more streamlined. So I'm not having to ask parents twice uh, for money during the season. Okay, so I put it all on a monthly subscription. So and essentially parents pay it off li little by little during the season. Uh, and they stay in the program for, for longer. Okay, so that was how you set up teams uh, within your business that is also how you can charge for your services okay so if you uh, how you can charge parents for for the, a league fee how you can uh, also charge parents for the training now also the third one is uniform okay so what i do is at the start of the season i make sure that all the uniform is is ready and i charge parents separately for the uniform okay so i don't include it in in the monthly subscription this is purely a separate thing that they have to pay they have to pay extra for uh, if they want their child to play uh, in matches on the weekend okay so essentially what i do is i contact my supplier my uniform supplier in the summer i make sure all these the correct sizes the equip uh, everything's in and then so at the start of the season i send uh, parents the invoice for for the uniform they pay it that gets shipped to them so that they have everything ready for the season okay now what i do is i add a little commission on top of what parents pay Okay, and this is pretty much just just more admin fee, administrative fee, and also time that it takes to contact the supplier, um, you know, to collect the to, to get all the uniform in, to send it out, because that obviously sending the new uniform out to parents is is costly. Uh, that's something I did at the beginning, but what I what I do now is once I've got all the uniform in, I hand it out to players individually at our first training session once the season starts okay so before I used to ship it out to parents and I used to charge parents a little fee on top of the total to cover those expenses but now simply when we have our first training session back I handle the all the shirts out all the kit out and everything is ready to go okay so three things that I covered today was number one, how to create your teams, right? So how to contact parents, how to create surveys so that you get enough interest 
and you have enough players ready to to play in in your league. Second one is how to charge parents for your fee um, for your league or for your teams. Okay, so there's two ways you can do that. Number one, you can have them pay separately, so they can pay a separate league fee and they can pay your training fees, or you can have it both together and they pay a monthly subscription which covers both uh, every month. Okay, and then the third one is charging for for uniform, right? So how to set up uniform? It, so it's very simple. You can go online. Uh, have a look at local suppliers who who, who have local uh, soccer uh, uniform. Contact them, see what, what kind of deals you can get from them. And once you have that in place, you can invoice parents and charge parents for that uniform and put a little commission on top of that so your company is making a little bit of money for the time and effort that it takes to look for that, that uniform. And also... Um, if you have to ship it out to parents, that little bit extra that you're charging is also covered as well. Okay, so if you need any help with this, right, get in contact with me. There's two ways you can do that. Visit the Calendly link in the description. You can book a free 15 to, to 20 minute call with me. We jump on Zoom. I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your business. Or if you don't want to do that, just send me a, a direct email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.